Hi there guys, got a bit of a different one here for you today. What I thought I'd do is just give you a little update on the CNC mill that I'm making. And I've got it to a stage now where both the X axis and the Y axis are almost finished. So I've just given everything a good mock up, make sure everything fits, and I'm quite happy with the result. So the base is 30mm thick, 100mm deep steel all along the perimeter with a number of bracing points. This in here is 50 by 50 square steel and is both screwed and welded to the frame to give it a bit of extra support. That's also what carries the bearing blocks. There's one at the front and another one at the back. These mounts here, they're for the ball screw and they're what control your axis traverse. On top of the base we've got some nice linear rails, these ones are Huin or high Huin, however you want to say it, and the carriages are under there, these red and green things. So they will, they will carry the axis forwards and backwards, obviously there's going to be a motor here, and as the ball screw turns it will feed the axis in and out. I haven't made the mounts for the ball screw nuts yet, but they're going to bolt onto this piece here. And we come up to the x-axis table, again linear rails and carriages bolted on nice thick steel. So this steel here is 30mm thick by 60mm and it's on a 20mm thick base. And under here we have the ball screw for the table. This is just a mock-up table, the real table is going to be a bit thicker and a bit wider. The working envelope of the machine should be about 200 in the Y, 300 in the X and then another 300 in the Z. So a pretty small working envelope, but this is pretty much the biggest machine I can make with the tools I have available. Plus the type of things I do, nothing really falls out of that working envelope, so it should be fine. And then at the back here, we have the column. So this is a 20mm thick plate of steel bolted all the way around the outside with M14 bolts jacking screws in case I need to level the column then the column itself is box section and then I've just machined this flat on the front here so that I can mount a plate and then the rails will go on the plate so that's hollow you can see there and eventually I'm going to fill that with epoxy granite probably will end up filling the base with epoxy granite as well just to make everything a little bit stiffer take out some of the vibrations so everything's coming along quite nicely a few more things to finish off with it but the basic skeleton of the machine has been made so the next thing for me to do is get the servo motors make some servo mounts for the X and Y axis and finish off the Z column. Hopefully the Z column shouldn't be that bad. I'm going to be buying ground flat stock like I did for the table. And it just really speeds up the building process. Although raw stock is much much cheaper. It's also much more time consuming to machine and make square and flat and all them things. So buying ground stock you start off with nice square pieces of metal. So you can just drill and thread your holes mount everything directly to the plate without having to without having to do much machining so it's just a quicker way to build things more expensive obviously but the time you save it's easily worth it so the servos i'm going to be getting for this machine are going to be dmm servos and they're coming from canada i believe they're based in it's going to be 750 watt servos so nice big beefy servos probably could have got away with 400 watts that 750 gives me the option to fill everything with epoxy granite and the servos will still be able to cope with the load. My spindle motor is probably going to be one of the ones from China but I'll be thinking more about that when I get the rest of the machine finished. Anyway guys, this has just been a quick video showing off what I've been up to. A little bit of progress and how everything's coming along. I probably won't do too many videos on the CNC mill. I might do an update when I get it moving. But for now guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.